to bring this struggle, this message of struggle to one another. And we know we need to show solidarity with one another, with one another because of course the government would love nothing more than for us to suffer in silence in our individual struggles. So by you taking a short moment, 20 seconds of your time, to sign our anti-racist petition, to show your solidarity with our cause, you are indeed showing that an alternative is possible. We've been on every single Black Lives Matter demonstration as an organisation, and we have committed to bringing that same message here to the show. Yeah, how often do torture and trafficking. They'll be detained for 28 days, during which time they'll be unable to apply for bail or judicial review. Other than in exceptional circumstances, claims for asylum will only be heard after removal has taken place, meaning the hearing will take place remotely from wherever the person ends up. Even if their asylum claim is ultimately successful, anyone subject to these provisions will be barred from becoming a British citizen, as will their children. While we should generally not be pre preoccupied with whether vicious racist governments act quote-unquote legally or, or illegally, given that apartheid in South Africa and Nazis, Nazism in Germany were both perfectly legal, the illegal Im immigration bill itself may not be legal. The bill's provisions breach not only the European Convention on Human Rights, but also the 1951 UN Convention on Refugees and the Council of Europe, Europe, Europe Convention on Action Against Trafficking in Human Beings. Hello everyone. We're really delighted to be here today in Dalston and we wanted to thank FRFI London, which keeps a regular presence and rally and picket here for prisoners' rights and against racism and against all injustice. We're especially here today because of Mumia Abu-Jamal. We heard yesterday uh, he is a Black Panther of, who always fought for justice and was wrongly accused of killing a policeman. He is innocent. His trial was dripping with racism. They removed black jurors. And the prosecutor, her, uh, the prosecutor and the judge said that they intended to fry the N-word. And that N-word was Mumia. He has survived, but he's been in prison for 40 years. We are here to demand his release, and we heard yesterday that his latest appeal for a new hearing has been turned down. And we're so angry, and we're so upset, and we can't believe the pain that Mumia must feel on getting this terrible news, because the judgment completely ignores the racism in the case, which has mounted over the years. I'm Sarah from Women of Color in the Global Women's Strike. We're a network of women from Africa, India, Latin America, and indigenous lands. And we campaign against sexism, racism, poverty, overwork, war, and to protect the environment and is uh, a caring income for all that look after people and planet. And we're here at FRFI's regular uh, demonstration for prisoners' rights. And we're particularly here today because of Mumia Abu-Jamal. He is a Black Panther, a journalist, a father, and a grandfather. He's been in prison for 42 years after he was framed by police for murder, which he did not commit. Just fr on Friday, his appeal for a new trial was turned down. What happened was that uh, in Philadelphia, the prosecutor's office 
found many boxes of material that had been hidden during the trial, was never presented as trial. That backed up his case for being innocent. Um, and on that basis, he made an appeal, but that was turned down by a judge. The judge is a black woman, which is so aggravating because they've got a black woman to do the dirty work. Uh, we're here today because we want to redouble our efforts to free Mumia. We're part of an international campaign that's been going on for decades. Just to mention, the name of the judge is Lucretia Clemens, and she's a black woman who claims to have connections with the civil rights movement, and that's who they used to uh, put out this ruling against Lumia that's denied him a new trial. And there's ample evidence of just blatant and dripping racism throughout the trial. And that, on that basis, he deserves to go back to court and have, have the truth heard. What happened this weekend is that there was a big demonstration in Philadelphia yesterday, and so the demonstration today is continuing that, and we're hoping there'll be weeks of action building up to Mumia's birthday, which is the 24th of April.